know what's going on, but I just let it just happen. I don't know. I see what's going on. You <laughs> I mean, right, it's 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 fruit pearls okay and this is a sparkling rosé so you can add the pearls to the rosé if you want to give it a little flavor or just keep it on the side okay it's kind of like a little free parter nice thank you The bird. Yes. Oh, it's so pretty. share with you guys um my little get ready with me i don't know if i'm going to speed through it or if i'm going to just like literally share i share, done share. my brows and i use uh two different palettes from h&m to do my brows and they are newer i think i share with this i shared this product in a vlog i believe but it just looks like that it has a um like pomade here or it's kind of like a, a brow gel and then the other powders are supposed to like be the brow powders um i have a darker one as well that i kind of like more and so i typically use like this dark brown and then if i want to like really clean them up and crisp them up especially around the tail end i'll use that like darker charcoal -y color so yeah, so brows are already done. I've already concealed around them. And one of the things that I shared with you guys a long time ago is this Morphe. Like, I like um, to use this when I am um, applying any foundations. And today I am just really on some chill shit. So I want to go to the thrift store. I have two bags and a box full of stuff that I want to give away. And so I want to get it out of my apartment. <laughs> like I'm like, it needs to go. It's two bags that are just like an eyesore basically and yeah i want to go to the thrift store i also want to go to like marshall's tj maxx uh burlington co factories places like that that have like really affordable home decor and like furniture pieces and stuff because i'm looking i'm on the search for a bench so where i'm at right now is my vanity area and i'm really on a search for an actual bench because i'm sitting which i kind of show probably i'm sitting on this a step stool from Ikea and it's not comfortable literally um, I have to reposition myself all the time like I'm wiggling in the damn chair or a stool so I want something that has a little more padding um, something that's gonna be aesthetically pleasing too, like comfortable but also cute 
um but yeah and something that's small that can go in here so like a little bench a little poof but with legs um that's also a little bit raised up and not like i'm squatting on the ground so yeah so okay so i put on my primer actually let me go ahead and close it up because y'all know i had that story where i literally like everything in the bottle leaked out so i always make sure i like you know do that so then i'm gonna go in with my infallible pro matte foundation i just put it on the back of my hand and i'm not gonna use a lot because i've been noticing that if i use less less is more um because i can get definitely super heavy handed when it comes to foundation and then i showed you guys in that haul the infallible full wear concealer and i use this to like spot conceal all over anywhere i have dark spots <music> color i love the infallible pro matte l'oreal foundations like and this concealer basically is like the same um i just feel like the concealer because it is full wear full coverage it gives me a little more of a full coverage than this one so blending them together is like a1 so i'm really happy with that purchase um but because like i was saying before the infallible pro matte is like my legit skin tone so i'm real flat right now to give myself a little more definition i'm gonna go in with my covergirl true blend undercover concealer and i put this right under my eyes and i don't apply like that much i kind of look like a football player situation and then i let that dry down just a little bit because um i want to give it that more like full coverage effect so yeah we're gonna let it dry down just a little bit and then we're gonna blend it out you know, I don't think I talked about these in the haul, but I actually purchased these as well from Sephora. They're like the little lip balms, and I've never seen these. I think this is new to Sephora, but um, there's a hydrating lip balm. However, this is in the shade Berry, and this one's but um clear i use the clear one all the time it's so moisturizing it feels so good i just feel like there's just not enough in here or something but um yeah i've been loving these i feel like i just put these on literally right after i moisturize my face i put this on my lips and it's bomb i don't know if you can see that but yeah they just say hydrating lip balm from sephora so now i think my concealer is ready for me to go ahead and blend so like i was saying before i like to spray my face when i'm blending anything that's like you know a little more dry just like that and now i'm going to start blending it in this is like just a stippling brush or whatever and i just kind of tap it in and it just you see how easy that is to blend but then you see the dimension in my face now it's like that highlighter really like shows up okay y'all that morphe um powder which is called what is this called bake and set setting powder in banana this is good okay it's super finely milled it is the perfect shade i just use a brush like a fluffier brush but a smaller one so that i can kind of get underneath my eye we're gonna just go ahead and literally just tap right underneath the eye to set that concealer and i have been struggling with my foundation and concealer and stuff really moving throughout the day um i don't know if it's because i have on a mask or what but i wasn't liking it and i feel like literally i've only been wearing this for like maybe two days and i feel like with this con uh this powder <laughs> this translucent powder uh setting powder it's like no other like i don't know if it's because it's super finely milled that it's like setting every single thing but i even tap over my brows just to set those two 
um i tap all around the nose like i just kind of get all in there and i kind of just come down the neck a little bitty bit like with a, a little dot of product and just set yeah so it's almost as if i'm using it as a total setting powder but i'm really like not but i just kind of um just make sure i set everywhere so yeah so that's what i do i really want to get around the nose because especially because any foundation or anything i put on my nose and if i put on a mask obviously it's going to be rubbing and stuff so i just try to set so that when i do take off my mask i don't look ridiculous around the nose and cheek area and like like so this entire situation so next i'm going to lightly bronze my face just to give me more dimension and i'm using this um, urban decay is this urban decay no no cat von d just kidding um lock it foundation powder and it's just like a really rich bronzy type of color for me um and this is in what is this deep six 66 i'm gonna use this little angled brush and i just swirl it around the product and i'm like gonna go right in the hollows of my cheek in circular motions and kind of up in the temples area a little bitty bit i'm trying not to get my hairline because i do have blonde hair now so it's easy for my foundation to basically be in the perimeter of my hairline swirl it into the hollows of my cheeks and yeah i will say if you're gonna wear your mask for a long period of time doing this step is really ridiculous because when you take off your mask you're gonna have that line right there and it's gonna look stupid it is yes yes it is uh but sometimes it just can't help but do that i'll just go to the restroom before i'm about to take off my mask so that i don't have like this stupid look on my face literally and then i'll like pat with like a towel or whatever just to ensure that like the the foundation kind of blends out again and then i'm all good but yeah if you're bronzing it's dumb um and then I, I do like to go in with um blush because i think blush just makes everything a little more like flirty so i like kind of do the apples of the cheeks then i go over where the bronzer is kind of just lightly dusting um it looks a little harsh now but guess what we're gonna blend her and i do the tip of my nose as well and then i'm gonna go back in with that angled brush and just blend so it's blending with that bronzy color and we're almost done y'all i'm about to literally put on some highlighter that's my favorite thing to do so i love to have glowy skin and i am just gonna go in with this uh fan brush and my highlighter and literally just go into like the areas where the sun would naturally kiss my skin like the highest points of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose even though i'm gonna have on a mask um but when i take her off i'll have that subtle glow and then like your mask starts like right about here so like right in here you can still kind of see you know what i'm saying what's going on and then i do a little bit in the center of my forehead just because like why not you know why not why not i'm gonna go in with um this fluffy brush and i always like just tap over literally all three of the things that i just applied to kind of blend them together but also to like make them more subtle one of those new items that i did purchase and i was talking about that i couldn't wait to try is the luminous setting spray so this will be my third time fourth time actually using this spray and i have not broken out y'all know or if you don't know setting sprays sometimes break me out because of the formula stuff that's in it like that's why i keep going back to the morphe continuous spray because i feel like I can use this multiple ways and I don't know so I kind of will spray my entire face with a continuous spray and then I'm gonna go in with this luminous setting spray and this smells so good y'all like it's so like I don't, mm, I don't know it just smells so good and I kind of because I have on this v-neck I'm kind of draping it down because it is a luminous spray so I think it's gonna you know give me those like shine but this is super fine like it comes out like 
a spa <laughs> like i don't know like it's just a super fine mist and i love it it feels refreshing so now that that's all done i go back into my brows because sometimes after the powders and all that stuff I feel like my brows can get a little lost in the sauce i'm going in with the brighter shade just because i don't want to apply so much darkness um but i'm gonna just like literally go on the outer edges where you know it could not be as precise anymore and just clean it up a bit Okay, so if you can see, my like brow hairs in the front are always like, I always kind of try to make them like boy brow. Okay, so I've applied my mascara. I'm sure you can tell the difference. Like I said, this mascara is, <laughs> baby, she is clutch. Um, and this is the Essence Big Lash, Get Big Lash um, Volume Curl Lash Lifting Mascara for only $3.99 at Ulta. And I definitely think a con to this mascara is that it has a really big wand. So if you have smaller eyes or it's just hard for you to kind of, you know, not make a mess, it's, it's going to make a mess. So I take a Q-tip basically and I just kind of go around anywhere where uh the, the wand kind of touched my skin and just cleaned it up and i feel like it just comes right off it's not you know it's not going to stay forever i just kind of clean up my bottom lash line as well just to ensure you know so for the very last touch literally i'm on the last i like to especially because i'm wearing a mask and all you can see is my eyes i love for my brows my eyes and like literally the inner tear duct to kind of be like the highlight of my look because you can't see anything else um i do like i said still kind of bronze lush whatever like it just because it, i don't feel complete like my makeup is complete if i don't do that um but yeah so i'm gonna go in with the juvia's place palette this is the warrior by juvia's place palette and i love all of the shades in here they're very rich and bronzy all of her um eyeshadows are super pigmented so i literally can pick any of the bronzy glittery shades and just know that it will make the inner tear ducts pop but i think i'm gonna go in with something a little more subtle because like i said i'm just just running errands you know nothing big um i like this kind of color down here it's like a mauve color i like this champagne -y, pinky gold this gold is fine yeah i feel like the top two and then this bottom corner one it kind of is a little bit too much like if you're not going out <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna go in i might mix the two actually go in with this like champagne -y, peachy pinky kind of bronzy color and then this more mauve -y one just to kind of see what i can do and i'm gonna just literally go into the inner tear duct you see what that's doing versus that like you know like it's just giving my eyes drama, you know, giving it, oh, Jesus, I almost got color on my pants. We don't want that. Let me wipe this off a little bit. Okay, so let me go again in here. Yeah, so I was just blending out the colors. I was using this um, fluffy brush. I'm not sure if that captured or not, but just like blending it so that it's not just like sitting in my tear duct. And yeah, and I also missed my face. And I was showing that I use my fan to like literally dry down all of my mist. I'm actually gonna go over one more time with the luminous spray because <laughs> I don't know what it is about that spray but i feel real luxurious okay so yeah so the next thing though i literally go back over my lips and i'm gonna just take a like you know kleenex and basically get all of the foundation and stuff from off of my lips as you can see like well i don't know if you can see but yeah there's like hella foundation that like kind of gets on my lips and i don't like that so I go back in with my like fluffy brush that I use to blend out my foundations just to kind of blend around my lips so that, you know, it's not like I took all my lip foundation off. I'm gonna go in with the hydrating lip balm and I'm gonna use the berry one this time. And ooh, it gives you like a super subtle tint. It's nothing crazy. Like, mm, it's very subtle, but you can see it. You can still see it. 
so that is it this is literally my face and this is what i've been doing um i can share with you guys my outfit as well i have on this crop top from zara it's super cute and it's like um a it's not halter it's a racerback situation and then i have on these trousers that are like a navy blue color and i'm gonna put on my navy blue birkenstocks so yeah